Hey guys, and welcome to this week's episode of Woods Goods. Now we're kind of on location right now because, well, we don't have a choice. This is Cameron. Behind the camera right now is my friend Mikey, who you'll see in a moment. Say hi, Mikey. Hi, Mikey. We went out garage sailing today and we found most of what's in here, minus this box action set, some cool Nintendo powers. And uh, we're going to take you through while people are reversing and people are walking by thinking that we're really weird. The stuff that we got today. Hey guys, Wood here and you're watching Woods Goods Wednesdays. And now I have no Tiffany with me today because she's at school and she's been super busy lately and I haven't had a film with her. So I'm going to leave the little cat picture competition thing that she started until next week to announce the winner. So I'm going to have to announce two winners next week. And if you want to win and be part of that competition, and this is aside from the cat thing, Remember to like, comment down below, and be subscribed. Comment about whatever you want, I don't care. Just leave a comment down below and you'll get, you'll get entered with a chance to win some video games, which I'll announce next week again with the cat competition. So, sorry Tiffany can't be here. She's at school right now. Actually, she's going on like a weird hike thing, a field trip for school. Anyway, we're gonna dive into today's pickups. I'm gonna keep it short and sweet today because I'm trying to edit a game quest, actually. I've been trying to edit a few game quests lately, and as a little treat for you guys, at the end of this video, I'm going to uh, leave some footage of the edited game quest that's coming, hopefully this weekend. If we get super, if I get super backed up, hopefully the weekend after. Again, I know it's been a while. I've been seriously backed up because my computers had viruses and it crashed. And if you guys have me on the vlog channel, you would have seen my stress with all of that. You probably have heard it already, so I won't dive into that any more than this. Let's go to the first pick up and stick around at the end of the episode to see some game quest footage. So last weekend, I was supposed to go to a convention, Cowlitz Convention with Metal Jesus, um, but I forgot, I, I completely forgot we had those plans and made plans with a, a friend of mine called Mikey and a guy called Cameron, and we were gonna go garage sailing. And I'm kind of glad I forgot, as much as I would have loved to have gone to that convention because it supports an extremely good cause, I ended up doing really well myself garage sailing. Um, and I filmed the game quest. Now, we weren't filming a game quest early in the day, we were just hanging out going garage sailing, and I picked up a few things off camera, like all these Nintendo Powers. Now, I got all these for 10 bucks, and uh, two things in this stack really stand out for me. One, The Legend of Zelda, because this is my favorite game of all time, Ocarina of Time. Um, I don't collect Nintendo Powers, I've always wanted to. It's, I don't think we even got Nintendo Power in Australia, I think we had some other kind of Nintendo Magazine variant. Um, and I always wanted to get into collecting them, but I knew once I started it would be too late. But I walked in this garage sale, he had nothing set up, nothing for sale as far as gaming stuff. I asked and he brought these out. Now every single one of these has the inserts, has the extra foldouts, has the posters, everything that you could imagine came with these things are in them. The Ocarina of Time is my favorite one, but then so is the 007 Goldeneye, not only because that is a great game itself, but for this weird, wacky, old Nintendo ad for Game Boy Colors. And Nintendo used to have some of the weirdest ads back in the day. And uh, that's definitely up there. So I'll get some B-roll of all of these magazines, but I'm happy to finally have some in my collection. And now it's kickstarted my love for them, which I already had, but now my love for collecting them. And now it's just gonna be crazy. So if you have any old Nintendo powers lying around, any doubles and you wanna help me collect, uh, finish this collection, then let me know, cause I need some, I really do. Now, as I said, we weren't filming a game quest, but then we rocked up to this big community garage sale, which was the weirdest thing. And initially I pulled the camera out and I'm like, I've got to get some of this on film and I'll leave some clips here. And initially I was going to film a Woods Goods out of it um, because I just needed to get this on film somehow. But then we went to a few more places and we were having a good time and I kept filming. So now I'm just going to make it a video. Um, which will hopefully be coming soon. I'm gonna try and make it without green screen so it's a little bit easier to, to pump out. But here's a couple clips from the day and the excitement that was uh, last Saturday. Yeah, honestly, th I think just you guys would look a lot better than yeah. trying to get that. Uh, Zelda and Super Mario Brothers 2 for $10 a piece. And uh, oh yeah, I got a bunch of games. Yeah, we got oh. some Pokemon games right here, hard gold, black, and then Mikey has white too. And two, it was in my pocket. And ah. then two Game Boys for, I believe, 20 bucks. 25. Right. I got these two as well. One of them has the uh, fire red inside. So that was what, 25 for all that? Yep. So we came back in to see if we could find anything else, but uh, it looks like everyone's closing up. So I think we did good. I don't think there was anything left. Craigslist. I heard about this place through Craigslist. Did you have any hopes coming in here that we'd find anything? I really did not have any hopes coming in. It was about noon. It's a big community garage sale in one tight space. I figured lots of people had already picked through it. But obviously we're 
expert game hunters. We're professionals here at this show, so we came through. We got some come ups. You know how it is. You know how it be. Deuce, deuce. I'm a. <laughs> what was that? I gotta see the loop though. All right. There is some stuff. There is some stuff. So this box. Oh, yeah. Let me let me tell you. This mm -hmm. box was twenty bucks. <laughs> what? There is no way. PS2 Slim. There yeah, is a Nintendo NES. You're kidding me. Uh, now, shortly before we hit up this uh, this amazing weird little community garage sale, we went to uh, this like units. It was like this weird apartment block, and it had signs leading down to a door, and the door said "Not for the garage sale." And we walked into this apartment, and she was selling a bunch of games. Now she had like like 3DSs and DSs and Xbox games. She wanted what she paid for everything essentially. So like a 3DS was like 150, and that was like not garage sale prices. But her, her 3DS games were only 10 bucks a piece. So Mikey got one of these as well, and I got one. I don't know why she had two, New Super Mario Brothers 2. And I picked up uh, Legend of Link, Legend of Link? Legend of Zelda, A Link Between Worlds. Now why I had to pick this up again was because uh, a couple years ago I went to MAGFest, not the one just gone, but the one before that. And I had a little baggie full of 3DS games and DS games, and I'm talking like this, Ocarina of Time 3DS, I had Luigi's Mansion, I had uh, Kingdom Hearts, I had a bunch of DS games like the Adventure Time DS game, I had Gianna Sisters which is really hard to find, and probably about 10 more games, some Pokemon games, like my, X, my Pokemon X, stuff like that. I think it was stolen out of my bag. I know that's a big claim to make and I trust everyone that was in the hotel room with me, but I know it didn't leave my bag at MAGFest and then it was gone. Um, so either it fell out and I never found it, but me and, and Ali and I, I was staying with Ali in the, in the hotel room, we cleaned that place out and we couldn't find it anywhere. Um, it was just gone, it just evaporated. And I tried calling the hotel once we left to see if they found it in lost luggage and they hadn't. So I took a bag of games, a bag of really great brand new games at the time, like Link, to the, Link Between Worlds only just came out. I took this bag to MAGFest and I didn't leave with it and it was, it's been crushing. I've been meaning to, uh, to rebuy some of the games that I lost, like this one and this one, but finding them cheap has been hard and I don't like paying retail for things, let alone paying retail twice. And that's what that's honestly my my horror story in gaming. And I filmed a couple videos on it before. I never ended up putting them up because it was just too depressing. I'm I got really I am really still really sad about that. That someone would take my games or at the at the very at the best best situation possible is that I just lost them and they just fell out my bag and we couldn't find them. But it's just absolutely heartbreaking. Fortunately, my Super Smash Brothers was in my 3DS at the time and I managed to keep hold of that. But just losing that many games in one hit. When I'm on holiday too, so now I only have that one game I could play. And I don't know where my 3DS is right now, but you can tell that that was the only game I had to play because I actually wore out my thumbstick and uh, it fell off from playing so much Super Smash Bros. So not only did I lose all my games, but the last game that I have left broke my console. So that sucks, it sucks. But it's nice to have a couple back at least. I really shouldn't have saved this till last, but I also found a 360 controller for a buck. Now, I'm actually finding a lot of like the last gen con controllers lying around because people have got rid of their consoles and they have the controllers left and they sell them. If you can find PS3, if it's the six axis one, I believe, and uh, the Xbox 360 controllers, whether they're white or black, black, people are selling them cheap right now. If you can find them, Goodwills, garage sales, pick them up because they still go for like 10, 15 bucks. Um, and obviously it's, that's a good turnaround and uh, our stores do take good trading credit for them. So for a buck, you can turn it into $15 worth. You can buy a game essentially, you can trade it for a game. So there's a, there's a woods tip for the day. Okay, I said I was gonna keep it short and sweet and that's it, that's all my pickups I'm gonna show because I, I don't wanna spend too much time editing this because I've gotta get that game quest out. Remember before I go, like, comment and subscribe. Leave a comment about anything you want below and you will enter with the chance to win uh, the competition for next week for free video games. Again, I'm not sure what I'm gonna give away. You'll find out when I find out. And the winner of the cat announcement video, I'm sorry that's not this week, but that'll be next week as well. And whoever won last week, the 8 Big Flies Avenue store winner, you never messaged me. So hit me up because this is your reminder or else next week I'll have to tell someone else that they've won instead and we'll have three winners next week. So watch next week, it's gonna be big for winners. That's all, I'm gonna leave you with some game quest footage of the coming game quests. 
One that will be out soon, which is with Scott Squatch in Florida, and one that will be out with Metal Jesus. Or this one that I was just talking about, that might be next, I'm not sure yet, but thank you guys for watching, I appreciate it. Remember to do your thing, and uh, I'm, I, I'm never sure how to end videos. You know, it's been three years and I still don't have a sign-off or a sign-on. Every time everyone has these like cool little sign-offs and sign-ons, I don't have one. You know what? Leave in the comment section below what my sign on and sign off for videos should be. There you go. There's one or the other. I don't care. Just be like, hey, beat them up, which used to be my last one. Or like, and make sure you include little like things I can do. Like I can like do a dare. I don't know. Just <laughs> help me out here because I've never managed to come up with anything. So I'm Wood and you've been watching me. That could be it. Let me know. In the ashes of our love Is there an ember that will spark? Is it all a bit too late? Wood is staying with us for about three weeks on uh, his trip down to Florida and we actually just got back from Dragon Con. Wood wants to do as much game hunting as possible while he's down here going to flea markets, pawn shops, game stores. Of course to the Wagon Wheel Flea Market where we go each weekend, look for games, set up, sell and trade games. So hopefully uh, it's a decent weekend out there and the weather's okay. So I love coming to the Wagon Wheel Flea Market for a lot of reasons, not just the people and the characters and the adventure that you go on whether you like it or not, but for the games. There actually is a lot of vendors here, a lot of people that set up week to week, but then also people that just come in on a one-off whim and you might find a hidden gem. You might find the rare Super Nintendo game you've been looking for. Right away, we're gonna head out to the Mustang and see what kind of games we can find. Now, I'm not really finding anything inside. We're looking around and it's all the same stuff that people bring week to week. It's stuff I haven't seen before, but I can tell that it's been picked through. These guys, they won't leave these, these vendors, they won't leave these booths, so I decide to go off on my own. Which, when you've only been in the country for a few weeks and you really don't know your way around, you don't know what games to look for, you don't know what prices, you don't know what things are worth, it's not the best idea, but I figure, what's the worst that can happen? 